slightly heavier weather look for this, so he's supposed to start cementing. So, anyways, um, I got a wild hair up my butt, and while I was making some uh, discoveries for the uh, new St. Paul board that I'm going to make. I, uh, I cut and trimmed and came up with another quick idea, like usually happens when I am in the midst of a build mood. Uh, so this is going to be uh, uh, the beginnings of my, oh, what can I say, the, uh, the paid seats for my new slave pit tile I'm making. At the end, I'll show you the uh, what I did earlier today. Well, and last night, to be honest. Um, but as you all probably know, usually when I get an idea in my head, it starts going. And this entire project right here is a whole wild hair up my butt kind of a moment but you know that's kind of how it goes uh, right now we're going to be using our uh, GW deburring tool here I know lots of people like knives um my scar tissue on my fingers is is enough that uh, you know I started this thing about a year ago and you know it takes a second to learn how to use it but just like with every tool it uh, you begin to learn how to do it and I'm not being very careful to be honest, this is, most of this is going to be hidden up with other details and oil paints. And, um, if somebody wants to come up and rail on me because there was a little nub of un, undone plastic, well, then that's what they're going to do. What is going on? Aha. We are good to go. <sighs> I used to never believe in this concept here, but throughout all of these projects that I've been doing, I've been finding out that the test fit part is kind of important. Uh, Especially when you're doing something that's a little bit more than a simple design. Look at this, new glue for the new video. <laughs> it's exciting stuff. I used to have favorites of all this stuff, but you know, these days, it's what's ever to hand. My children haven't swapped this one up on me, so. The Loctite gel is, I guess, what we're using on this little build right here. Um, huh. Oh, good. 
think my kids took the baking soda. Hold on a sec. Huh. Uh, well, after much searching and cursing, it seems that my daughter has, or son, has absconded my other materials. So, I'm going to do this instead. Problem with this stuff is it's so expensive. <sighs> Not that all of this isn't expensive that I'm working with right here, but. Well. Yeah. Yeah, expensive. This whole thing is expensive. Most of you are going, what the heck, dude? What the heck? What's going on? Why are you doing all this? Well, same reason I do all of it, because I want to. Uh, wild hair up my butt, and... Wild hairs are something. That... Oh, look. On the flat surface here. Oh, still on flat. Excellent. That makes things easier. Uh, not. That was a joke. Of course you're going to adhere right away. You never adhere when I need you to, when I need you to do it right away. But, you know, now... I mean, that makes sense to me. That's how all frustration happens in this, this little game we've got going on here. Uh, I, a little bit left, not much. Excellent. Then here. No. Okay. I guess we can toss both of those guys out. Which is why I wanted the baking soda. But hey, whatever. Glue will dry. Pieces of sector mechanicum here. Uh, both the whatever ridiculous words the Games Workshop names these things after. And this, can I get one in there? 
<laughs> Maybe I ought to get a different one. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Give all of you a what's up. This is usually when I stick pieces down that are a mistake. But in this particular case, I don't think so. So anyways. Uh, oh, this is a lot longer without the... Uh, Without any of this or the baking soda, which drives it dries everything almost immediately. And I'm not too worried about the stress on this. Oh look, it should be good to go. You gonna fall apart on me? <laughs> oh, you didn't. You dirty, dirty dog. Okay, let me go get the tile. <sighs> Uh, so anyways, um, yeah, so I needed this center, this tile, I know everybody's like, why are you cutting up the tiles, dude? Um, so, uh, yeah, this tile I did about a year ago and it was warping quite a bit. Uh, so if you were looking for an excuse as to why you would cut up these things, um, yeah, when they kind of do this, you know, they don't work very well, especially when you got a bunch of junk glued on there already. Um, so I took this one out. I mean, it's not like it didn't get plenty of play. It got almost two years worth of play time on it before I, I recycled it. So, you know, depending on how you want to look at it. But yeah, this is going to be the murder pits. All right, so, uh, needless to say, uh, I put this up on foam pieces here. Um, this was the side that's supposed to be the back because the gates, the gates are on this side here. This is where they come in. Um, so, this is going to be the paid seats, so to speak. The, uh, the cheap seats are down underneath and they're going to be right along here. But this is going to be, um, I'm going to put some platforms in here. And then on top is going to be the, uh, the, the uh, management is going to be up top here um, in a, uh, a uh, container. And... Uh, yeah, so, you know, this is a little side project uh, when I was trying to get stuff for the my sump wall build. I'm going to be building a corner for the sump wall, um, and I needed a little platform. Look at that. Worked out great. Um, but, yeah, so I'm. this is a little sidetrack project. Um, there's several other things that have to go on this. One, I have to put up the, the railing around here so these guys can't just jump out. Now, some of them will, especially if they're death maidens. They got a six inch, you know, a six inch move. Oh, doesn't quite get up top, but I suppose I'm going to have to have the fences about two inches high. Yeah, well, we'll do that. Um, but yeah, um, underneath, you know, of course, I mean, why not? Well, all right, you know what, right now it's not going to be a big deal, but, um, I'm planning on having, um, vendor stalls.
little uh, little road agents. You know, they're uh, gonna be you know guys tagged on. You know, kind of like the pro wrestling thing. Only everybody's murdering everybody. So. Anyways, um, that's kind of it for this part of the video. Um, this is a test. Uh, bye. <sighs> Hi again. Um, just kind of getting things cleaned up here. Uh, making sure the video is working. Um, so I'm working on the, uh, Next little stage, I'm going to make the paid seats. Uh, this is where the uh, lords and ladies of the guild will sit and uh, look at, uh, watch watch people just murder each other. Um, we're going to finish up on this little part of it. We're going to finish up on uh, just getting the side doors set, ready. I'm not going to glue them on yet because I have to decorate everything in here. Um, and... Uh, yeah, just kind of work on stuff a little bit more. The idea here is I have a pair of these doors here that are gonna they're gonna lock in. Not sure which way I'm gonna do it. Am I gonna do it this way? The other question is: is do I try to just cut? The problem is with this is that it's a little bit not the right size, so. Just wondering whether I should just do this. Now, the other thing that I have in mind that's a possibility is I have, of course, and this is where the old bits box comes in. Um, I have this from the gang stronghold that, oh yeah, look at that, I have that. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. All right, I'm going to cut this out right now. So let me let me just get this ready here. Okay, so anyways, um, this is what ends up happening when I get what I call one of my wild hairs up my butt. Um, I've come up with a unique look on this doorway which I actually want at least one side to work. Um, so I got some of the gang stronghold uh, pieces. I cut, this piece is normally um, got a backside on it, so it fits into the, uh, the concrete uh, bunkers, or a concrete uh, barricade part, you know. Um, but that made this stick out way too far. So I cut that flat with a saw and then I took a piece of this kit, uh, the, the door well. The original idea, like I said, was uh, I was going to do something like this and make it real simple and then the doors actually wouldn't move. But yeah, like I said, I kind of got excited because it looks like this little plan is going to work. Um, I am sorry for the tremendous mess that everything is right now. Um, I did manage to actually bring home some baking soda at least. The price of this junk has gone up ridiculously, so I said, okay, I'll pass, um, at least on this stuff. Um, so obviously, you know, these are not enforced very well. So what I ended up doing generally with this, just to make things a little bit less uh, destroyed, is I'll run the seams like this and then we take a little bit of this and go along the seams here. Um, this will make that texture rock hard um, and it's probably already dry. Um, now that doesn't mean it's not gonna break again. Um, it does make doing this stuff work a little faster although as you can probably see and look I'm dripping baking soda on the open glue which isn't necessarily the best way of doing it but either way um it gives this the necromunda look which is you know got a weld joint along it now this is really small detail a lot of this is going to be covered up um but it's 
a little thing to give everybody a little character. Um, I like it. This wasn't like this was that big of a deal to do. Um, in the big schemes of things. Uh, and basically, all right, so at this point, I think I'm gonna glue this door on. Oh, yeah, right, I have to. Here's our little tool here. This thing is is mis, uh, mislabeled. Um, I've tried to use it on models. It just doesn't, it doesn't work very well. But on terrain, it is a godsend because otherwise you're stuck doing this. And you know, like I said, my entire hands are scar tissue basically um, from damage over the years of doing this stuff. And, you know, it took me a second. And finally one day I just said, you know what? It's not gonna kill you to try. It's not like it's the most expensive thing in the world easy anyways. I mean, as far as modeling is concerned, just the paint alone costs, in comparison, a fairly interesting amount of money these days. Um, you know, and I think the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna glue this door to this, uh, make sure it sticks, and then I'm gonna glue on to here. Oh, right. I do have to test this. I should probably do this. And what ends up, see, this is the stuff that ends up happening. I forget about the rest of the model when I'm in the focused part of the build. And this looks, because I, I, I want this to be removable so you can actually, you know, stick your fingers in here and get models out. Um, I've tried to make the profile about as large as it can be on this. Um, and yet have it still be somewhat useful. I'm trying to decide whether I'm gonna put another one of these doors on the other side. But anyways, um, let's get this glued together here. And, oh, look at that. I forgot there's parts labeled on this, so. And that's the longer one, okay. Oh, knock the other one off anyways. All right. So we're gonna have a long and a short, right? All right. A little cleaning here. Not that anybody sees any of this stuff. It's just it's a habit I've gotten into, and I don't know. It's a pretty good habit, to be honest. I mean, yeah, it leaves a mess everywhere, but it makes the model look better, which kind of, that's the point. Um, so, let me make sure I'm doing this right. All right, I do it like that. All right, so that's the little one, that's the big one. Do, 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 do. Now, of course, the trick here is to make sure you put the glue all the way on the other side here so that that door still works after you're done with the assembly. Doo -doo. Oh, that looks like it's gonna do just fine. We'll get that. And we'll get that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that looks like we're gonna do it here. Hey, all right. That looks pretty good. I was deciding whether I was gonna do a cap piece or not, but I think I'm going to, just, just because. All right, that's gonna be this one. Oh, wait a minute. Is that going to be that one?
No, it's going to be that one. All right. <sighs> one of the best parts about kit bashing is you make it work for what you want. One of the worst parts about kit bashing is that usually I don't bother pulling out the directions on these things if I don't have to. So sometimes you have to really double check because otherwise a lot of my bits parts are filled up with items that uh, you know I cut out and it was the wrong side. You know, well these things happen. Are you gonna fit? Hey, you're gonna fit. Right. A little bit here. This is another one where you wanna make sure you don't get any glue over on this part, otherwise that door's not gonna work. And we'll get that. And would you look at that? I think. We're going to be successful here. Now, of course, the next question is, do I want the door to be actually crooked? This is when you make those decisions, when you're at this stage right here. Now, sometimes they accidentally happen because you're rushing. And that's, you know, a thing. And are you going to stay? You're not going to stay, are you? All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I see why you're not staying. Okay. I'm going to have to get a little piece right there. Little chunk there. And as I thought, Crooked door. Oh, here we are. My first real video. And I'm only going to show all you guys that I can't glue anything together. So the reason this happened was because I jumped a step. I should have just waited another minute and let that catch before doing the baking soda step. It's also becoming apparent as to whether I'm going to leave this part open or whether it's even going to matter. All right, so yes, we end up with a crooked door, which is okay. I'm actually all right with that. I am a little bit. This is not the best joint. Uh, this is why we keep things like this. All right, so can I take that off? Yes, I can take that off. Oh man, I came close on that too, didn't I? Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, technically, it's not fitting, is it? Yeah, once again, that's okay. This is also when you make decisions as to whether I actually want to keep this thing over that. <sighs> These things make excellent walkways. And then providence happens because you're looking at the junk pile. Oh, that's a good look. I like that. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Look at that. That's a good idea. All right, I'm going to futz around for a little bit. I'll be back. So anyways, um, I've uh, been doing a little bit of work here. Um, I just, I don't want to 
waste the camera time with showing you how to cut things out of sprues and cleaning things up. I mean, everybody does that a little bit differently and it's that's not really an exciting part of the video. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I uh, kind of compromised on a lot of stuff here. Um, we're, we're getting down here to the base being done. And then it's going to be time for decorating, adding, adding stuff in here for people to sit. What I want to do up here is I kind of want to have a machine gun post and I want a, light, a searchlight. Um, trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. But either way, this comes right off. Um, my little problem that I had over here with covering this part up, I believe I've come away with a water still. And I needed to, it, it became evident as I was doing stuff on here. Now, of course, we have the crooked door I did on the last one, which actually works out great like this. Um, I, I love a crooked door. That's awesome. But I decided to um, actually put the full panel with the doorway. Now, this is from the old bulkhead terrain. Um, I found that guy. Um, and that firms this up real nice. Um, it's a little crooked, but... Since I've cut a majority of it off and repurposed a lot of it, it kind of, it would be kind of silly to expect it to not be a little crooked. But that covers things up. It gives line of sight down in here because the idea behind this is that these are the box seats, um, or this is where the the head slave guy is. Um, I did manage to find this, which was from a project a while ago and I'm wondering whether I want to make a oh would you look at that uh, I'm wondering whether I want to make a um, walk the plank kind of a thing um, you know what hold on a second Okay, so um, here's the tile, and this guy's going to be up like that. This is the box seats. Um, here, let me get my phone loose here. Um, these are going to be the uh, higher-end seats, and the cheap seats are going to be down here. They're going to be really down here. So I have a little bit more work I have to do, but the big question at this point, let me get this hooked back up here. The big question at this point is, do I actually want to make a, <laughs> it's going to be fun. Do I want to make a plank walk? <sighs> now that means I'd have to have a scenario where the guy is up here. See, now this could be, the reason I'm even considering this is because this could be an upgraded rescue scenario. That would probably be a lot of fun. Um, I actually think I'm going to skip it. Oh, man. The Han Solo scene in Return of the Jedi keeps coming into my brain now. Maybe we just use this piece. That puts him pretty much in the center. Okay, I think I'm going to do it. Okay, so anyways, um, I have come up with a even better uh, concept, which means this all can be taken off. So if we don't want to play with the plank, we don't have to. We can just take that off and everybody can roll around in there. We have a door that works. Um, I do have to decorate all the inside of this yet. Uh, we need to have some seats. I got to make up some beds. Um, but... Needless to say, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, 
This is going to be... <laughs> now, <coughs> one thing to remember when you're doing stuff like this, you have to make sure you don't be disappointed when your players don't play with half of the crap that you install. Um, we've been going for two years now, and they're just starting to realize some of the extras that I've been putting on the terrain, like little grills and bar areas, toilets, um, seats, uh, little computer terminals, the way to open the door and everything. Um, and, you know, that's fine. It, it, you know, it's cool. Uh, the whole reason, I mean, the real reason all of this stuff happens is because I'm just having a blast doing it. Um, I seem to be getting better at it because it's beginning to look cooler. Um, this uh, Blood Pits piece is, uh, once again, this was just a right turn off uh, another project that I'm working on, which is um, the corners for my sump wall, um, which kind of is on hold a little bit right now because I'm running with this. Um, but, you know, I mean, there's no rush on any of this stuff. So, um, anyways, uh, let me let this dry uh, and I'll get everything all together. We'll get a final piece on this part of the video. So, anyways, um... This is what the tile's looking like right now. Um, I gotta get it so it doesn't fall off my little spinny thing here. Um, if you go way down, these are the cheap seats to look in. Um, I still have to detail things. There's there's quite a bit still that needs to happen on this. Um, a lot of times what people misinterpret as a really well done plan is more of a series of hey we're let's try this and you know if that works well you know we keep going um yeah the door opens <sighs> There's still quite a bit to add to this. I haven't done any texturing yet. I have to, um, I have to get this stuff detailed up. Still not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, but you know, it'll come to me. That's the funnest part about all this. Yeah, we have the gangplank there. Um, so then we're going to come back around. So I'm planning on putting double doors here, like I did with this one right here and the fence line needs to happen um and you know i need to detail up here we need to add some gubbins and stuff i'm still trying to figure out whether um i need to partition things a little bit more um maybe put a railing up here uh, you know the fence is going to be here there's a little bit of a space issue going on with people standing here. I'm gonna have to get some models and just do a little bit of testing on stuff. But um, other than that, that's where the tile's at right now. Um, I think I'm gonna kill it for this video. Uh, and, you know, hopefully some more to come. Uh, we'll see how the editing and everything goes. So uh, thanks a lot. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, JD in the sump sea um this is d and you know uh we'll we'll see you on the next one